Is anyone there? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome along. Right. Thought I'd sneak on a wee bit earlier. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> right. Let's get all the formalities out of the way, shall we? I will just see who's doing what here and see who is here early. And we'll skip that ad. <laughs> right. Welcome along, guys. Glad you could all make it. And thank you for taking time out of your morning, evening or afternoon to uh, hang out with us. 871 Stranger, good morning. Marty's nuts about digging and coins. Welcome, buddy. And Marty, I do have that uh, Canadian 25 cent coin out, uh, just to show you. <laughs> I did remember this time. Uh, James Clark, good morning. Caleb Sinclair is in the house. Howdy, buddy. Uh, Mad Kiwi, pan, pan, pan the gold, swirl it at the end, merrily, 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 what a great return. <laughs> Sweet poem, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Hope it's a nice day down there. Uh, 871 Stranger. Adventures. G'day, buddy. I cannot watch right now. Just wanted to say hello, everybody, and show my support. Happy hunting. Thanks heaps, mate. Um, hope you're having a great weekend. Jacob1556 is playing game uh, War Thunder while watching. Sweet. I'm not that multi-talented. <laughs> um, Silver Tunnifer is on his way home from an early morning detecting trip. Sweet, bro. Awesome. Hope you did well. In fact, I know he did well. <laughs> uh, February and June is in the house. Good morning, guys. Welcome along. Uh, Kerry Hill, howdy bud, welcome, and Caleb Sinclair says hi to everybody, <laughs> David Carlisle is in the house, g'day matey, or he's not in the house, Rodney Jackson, smash the thumbs up now for the live chat, cheers buddy, thanks for that, uh, don't forget to smash that like button on the way in, and um, yeah, you know the deal. Something to do with my analytics and all that carry on. So, oh, Silver Tanifa is straight off the bat. Put me in the pot, bro. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay. Silver Tanifa, I will indeed. All right. I haven't even gotten onto the prizes yet, Silver Tanifa. You're jumping the gun there, cuz. <laughs> Callum Thomas. Good morning, mate. Right, I'll take the lid off that. Make sure it is empty, it is empty, and in you go there, Silver Tony Fur. Thank you so much. Alrighty, guys, shall we go through the... Hey, Kiwi Metal Detective is in the house. Good morning. The other half of February and June. And 871 Stranger wants part of the action as well. 871 Stranger. Alrighty, so I'm guessing you guys would like to see what sort of prizes I've got up before grabs today. There you go, stranger, you're in the pot. <laughs> Silver Tony Fuss says, copycat. <laughs> I have got lots to show today. Um, this week's been a pretty cool week. It's been quite a fun week. Um, and I got a gift straight after the stream last Sunday that just blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. We'll get to that later. Um, I got some stickers um, this week from somebody, and if they come into stream, I will put those up. But yeah, crazy. It's all happening. It's all happening. Um, hey, Pop It. You say good morning to everyone. Good morning. Hey. Is he about to head off, are you, or not yet? Well, man, this to get ready. Oh, Mum's still getting ready, is she? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Oh, there you go. February and June says, Morning, Pop It. <laughs> cool. Alrighty, guys. Let's have a look at what's up for grabs today. So, I am going to spin... Oh, Caleb. Caleb says, Hi, Pop It. <laughs> right. Um, what Caleb? Your cousin, Caleb. I have got a very nice... 
Travelling Troy Detectorist, good morning. So I have got, this is my one and only slabbed coin. It's a PF68, Proof 68, 1961, dime. Okay, in a slab, untouched, pretty cool little coin. Um, oh hey, we're, oh, everyone's turning up. Scott Jarvie, good morning. CC Bell is in the house. Good evening, I think it is. Um, so this is going to be the donators giveaway for the end of stream. All right. So for all of you who do do a super chat, this is what I am going to put up in return of all your donations and pretty much my gratitude. And Jacob is rearming his helicopter. Sweet. So it looks like we're going to get a running running commentary from Jacob as he's playing his game as well. <laughs> hey, Caleb Sinclair, mate, you've got to do a super chat to get in the pot, buddy. So, um, and then we have basically basic prizes today. Sixpence and a threepence. And for number five prize today, we're doing a shilling. 1943 shilling so that's pretty cool now um my theme for today he said doo doo who said doo doo <laughs> <laughs> that's sad yeah sorry caleb it's just the way it goes buddy um <sighs> sweet right i'm just catching up on the chat here so, my theme today is something a little bit different. I got did a bit of research and thought I'd do something quite different today. My theme for my questions, and so you might want to Google this, is Callum Thomas, got you, mate. Thank you so much. Ooh. Be even better if I could spell properly, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you can probably spell better than me, can't you, Pop-Up? Yeah. Callum... Thomas likes the look of that slab dime. <laughs> it's Joe <Jared> Crispy. <laughs> that is all yours. <laughs> and Silver Tunny says shipping for my slab dime. You, <laughs> you won it already, Silver Tunny for you reckon. <laughs> no, he hasn't won it yet, Pop, but he's just 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 being funny. You know what he's like. He's always funny, isn't he? Oh yeah. Sil Silver Tunny for. Do you mean Dion? Yeah, but we won't say his name on camera, will we? <laughs> there you go, Silver Tony Fur. Poppets let the cat out the bag. Um, and Rodney Jackson, got to be in to win. You certainly do, Rodney Jackson. Thank you so much for that. Right, so, now that I'm caught up with everything, George Luna is in the house. G'day, buddy. And William Baker has made it. If you need to contact Crispy for shipping, please email too. Thanks, William. Man, he works hard. That's it. Uh, William, he's always on here and he's always posting up my um, details. It's great. Uh, official Gold Digger says, Hello, Poppet from Canada. Whoa, Canada, that's a long, long way wow. away, isn't it? That's like on the other side of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Feb and June, thank you so much. Right, where was I before I was rudely interrupted by all these super chats? <laughs> right, my, um, my guesses today, I have gone with birthstones, okay? So I don't mind if you go and Google it, because, hey, we, we get a few people in here, that's pretty cool, but we don't get enough that it's going to really make things real weird and stupid. But I'm the only one that is only getting the chat. Am I the only one that is only getting the chat? Nothing on the video except Dang Circle. Ah, oh, that's a shame, bro. Um, sorry about that. There's not a lot I can do about that. Hopefully it comes right. Um, I know for a fact we've got um, Hunter's little mate hanging around today. So they will both be on the internet his today. Name, so, his name yeah, we is don't say names, remember? This is worldwide. We don't want people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we're a we're little mate hanging around, so they are all on their phones this morning playing yeah. playing their games. They got a bunch of lollies. 
You got lollies too. I need two. Yeah, well, it's the same they as some sort of they, they They get like a thousand. <laughs> Did they just? Well, I'm sure you all got the same. Mm. Mummy would have got you all the same. No. Okay, so back to the topic for today is birthstones. There is a catch, however. Um, when you guess, when you make your guesses this morning, I want you to type in the birthstone but also the month that that birthstone is relevant to. Okay, so it's, good. it's gonna make it a bit tricky. Um, it's gonna make it a little bit more time consuming for you to type it in, but I'm making it, making it tricky. So it's got, I've picked out five different birthstones and they are all relative to our birthdays mm -hmm. and our months for birthdays, okay? So um, yeah, so they will be, you, you pick the birthstone, and then you put, and you have to have the correct month for that birthstone as well. Um, you're being very annoying. <laughs> when are you going out? Aren't you going out? Come on, off you go. <laughs> my goodness, you're coming here and take over my stream. <laughs> Jim, MD Melbourne. How are you doing, brother? How are you coping with this whole silly lockdown thing? Um, I hope you still have your sanity with you, bro. Um, I saw you up in that blimmin' million dollar, multi-million dollar condo, man. Not much for that money, eh? I was really surprised. Um, crikey, we build, we build houses here in New Zealand bigger than that for a fraction of that sort of cost. It is hilarious. Um, I guess it's all top end, top end fixtures and fastenings, and also, hey, the view. My goodness, the view. You off, are you? Alrighty. You want to say good morning to everybody? No. Come on. <laughs> no. Yeah. She's just out of the shower. She's got wet hair. Yeah. Can't escape this one. Right, you're off. Hey. Oh, can you please take her? <laughs> okay, if you stay, you're staying out there. Okay? All right. Got to put the foot down. <laughs> um, yeah, location, location, location. It is Jim, isn't it? A beautiful place. Um, and the, um, like, all the joinery and the cabinetry look real good. Um, but gee, $8 million. Whew. That's what it costs to uh, get a little pad in the middle of town, then whew, let's so be it. CC Bell, my entry, but, my entry, but more like postage for, <laughs> I think that's meant to be Tony for, <laughs> no, it's CC Bell. CC Bell, all right, you are in the pot. <laughs> Morning, let's go the blues. Hey, wash your mouth out, Silver Tony Far. <laughs> Marty's nuts about digging. You are back, bro. Right. I've got that little coin, so I will show you that now while you're in the chat. Um, it's a cool little coin. I found this detecting. I found, found it a wee while ago. Um, here you go, Marty. 25 cents, Canada. 1917 with King George V on the back so he's got that same crown as is this the same one um, no, I haven't got one here on me but yeah he's got the same crown as our, our coins for the earlier earlier 1900s 1930s coins so there you go Marty that was the wee coin that I dug up a while ago um, what the what is the silver oh there you go marty's nuts about digging it says nine two five silver cool so they're sterling the same as the um same as the british coins of that age it's a nice wee coin isn't it marty very cool design very very similar to the um very similar to the actual commonwealth to the british coins as well so but i guess it was always going to be rather than a wreath you've got the um what looks like the maple leaves around the sides there very very cool very cool. There you go, Marty. So they're the two coins I've got. They're the only two. Oh, I've found plenty of Canadian one cent coins, uh, your pennies, and these are the only other two coins that I've found from Canada. 
I haven't found any any large scents or anything like that. Travelling Troy. Hey, Crispy received the first prize one from you. Oh, sweet, man. They have been, they've been dribbling in, um, which is cool. A lot of people are starting to get them finally. I'm so stoked they all got out this time. Bill Gibson. G'day. How are you doing? M to Jim, that's the cheapest one, Crispy. I'm working on one now. It's double story and 18 million. <gasps> Holy moly. <laughs> <coughs> That's just crazy. How much bigger is it, Jim? Excuse me. Is it like, um, is it substantially bigger or is it just got more floor space? Or, I mean, man, how do they justify 18 million? That's crazy. Oh, CC Bell, I got my winnings yesterday too. Woohoo! Yay, it's all getting through. Woo! <laughs> Finally. Um,. What do we? What have I missed? What have I missed? No, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, so oh, that that's crazy, Jim. Well, at least it'll keep you busy. Triple that. <laughs> um. So, um, what shall I share with you first? Ooh, I'll tell you what. How's about we do an early early giveaway? For you guys who are in the stream straight away and smashing it with me. Alrighty guys. So first one's up for grabs this morning. There we go. Nice 45 threepence and a nice 34 sixpence. Again, dug by myself. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so <clears throat> I have my first one here. This is my first birthstone. Okay. So again, remember guys, I need birthstone. Can um, me and um, Brett have a lemonade? Oh, can you wait a wee bit? It's a bit early for a lemonade. Please. All right. Dad. If it all shut you up. <laughs> my, dad, my dad is the best daddy. <laughs> is that right, Papa? Yes. Right, off you go. <laughs> Okay, guys, so remember, it is, sorry about that little interruption again. So I'm going to type in the chat, go, when you, how come you Canadians have the same coin as us, Martin, but you don't have a cricket team? <laughs> Jim, are you doing a bit of staring there, Jim? <laughs> nice one. That's probably quite a valid question there, buddy. <laughs> um, right, so guys, I'm going to type in go in the chat. Make sure you are in live chat. That will give you the best opportunity. Um, and remember, guys, it is birthstone plus the month that goes with that birthstone. All righty? So if you, if you want to write in, say you want to write in December or March or something like that, January, you put the corresponding birthstone as well. Do we understand, guys? Are we with it? Are we ready? Alrighty, here we go. Go for it, guys. Birthstone with corresponding. There we go. We have got it. We are sweet. Everybody's got it, except nobody's posted it up yet. <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't seen it yet, guys. Caleb, you got to have the um, birthstone as well. So you might need to Google it. Haven't seen it yet. Okay, looks like we've all had a guess. So I will just open it up and go for it. We've got multiple guesses now. Still haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. Go back through. Look at all those months. Still <laughs> is coal a stone? Oh, it is after a long, long time. <laughs> there we go. We have it, guys. We have it. Stop, stop, stop. We have a winner. It has been guessed. 
you guys clicked onto that fairly well and for those of you who haven't clicked on I'm sure you would have by now it was Garnet January well done I thought I might have thrown you off a little bit by saying January there, but <laughs> so I will quickly just go back up to the top, guys. I will just double check and make sure. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't see it. April, February, all close with February, February, a few Februarys there. Yeah, February, a few Februarys, and then we hit. February and June says Garnet with June. That's all wrong. <laughs> We're getting there. And CC Bell was the first one to pick January with Garnet. So well done, CC Bell. Woohoo! You are the winner of these wee coins. Do you want to spin or do you want to keep? You want to um, put that in the chat, type that in the chat. Spin or keep? G'day, Luke, mate. How you doing? Um, sorry I haven't been up your way yet to drop off your last prizes. Um, I've had a pretty crazy week. I've been easing back into work. So I've been doing way too many hours than what I should be. But um, yeah, it's been a pretty crazy week. Thanks, Chris. I will spin. All righty, here we go. First spin of the morning. What are we going to get? What's coming up for CC Bell? It is a nope. Sorry, CC Bell. You don't get anything extra, but you do have these little coins winging their way to you. I'll just write your name down. CC Bell. Congratulations, CC Bell. Well done. NZ Dirt Pirate is in the house. I thought you'd be out detecting, bro. <laughs> Um, fingers crossed. Oh, well, thanks, Crispy. <laughs> you are welcome, CC Bell. Um, yep, hopefully it's not going to be a mean as well this morning. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Nick Mona is in the house. G'day, buddy. Welcome along. Hey, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, much appreciated. George Luna. Crikey, we're getting all the guys, everybody's in the house at the moment. Right, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Now, I got, um, he's not in the chat yet. He may or may not come in the chat. I'm not entirely sure. But um, I got a message <clears throat> pretty much directly after the stream last Sunday. And got to get back to AFK for a bit. Go down the street to check my mail. Hey, sweet as William Baker. You're a legend, mate, just for being on my stream. Thank you so much. Um, and Silver Tony Fast says, let's see them bars, bro. <laughs> they are coming, bro. They are coming. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have picked up or know, but I dropped a video this morning on YouTube of my first pour with the Devil Forge. Yeah, it was so much fun. Um, oh, I had such a ball. G'day, Alex. Welcome, buddy. Welcome along. Um, it was, oh, I was both nervous as, um, freaking out. Oh, I was so worried it was all going to go wrong and blow up in my face. Um, but no, everything went well, except for, um, things getting, the bars getting stuck in the mould. Um, 871 Stranger. Got you, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, other than the bars getting stuck in the mould for some reason, everything went real well. The Devil Forge is amazing, but we'll get on to that soon. <laughs> it, is the, it is the 4KG Forge, Marty. Yeah, just the wee one. Um, I thought I'd just start off little, work my way up, and go from there. But David Carlyle wants bar number one. He's already said he, he, he left me a thing on the um, on the video too, saying bar number. David, I don't know if I could ever let go of bar number one. Um, the sentimental value for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's bar number one of my first ever pour with the forge. Um, I had this horrible feeling that bar number one, 
well, I mean, the first few, I thought the first few would turn out just horrible and just nasty and and look like some crazy parasite lemon jelly from from Mars or something like that. But they've actually turned out really nice. They've cleaned up. I haven't polished them, but they've cleaned up real nice and I've stamped them on. And number one, oh, it's, it's a little bit sentimental to me. So I don't know, Dave, if I could ever get rid of... Um, if I could ever get rid of bar number one, I'll, I'll think about it, mate. I'll think about it. Um, it's, yeah, it is quite, <laughs> it's quite a sentimental wee bar to me. I know it's only a wee chunk of copper, but it turned out so nice and it's just like, mm, don't know if I could part with it. Um, Jim says, it was a choice of coming on the live stream and watching that video. Crispy, you guessed it. I mean, hey, that video is going to be there when you get off the live stream, Jim. So, <laughs> It's all good, mate. It will still be will still be there waiting for you. Um, right. Check this out, guys. This is a gift that I got given after the stream last week. Check that out, guys. It is absolutely insane. This is a metal detector that um, this chap has welded up at a chain and bits and pieces. This is what he does. He does this stuff. Um, he makes big tables, bits of art, clocks, you name it, he makes it. Um, I will, I've got a card here. Um, I will flip the card up on the screen. Now, if you guys are really keen on getting anything from this guy, you can pause this. Um, but Tony Hall is his name. There's his website and his email. And there goes some of the things he makes. So you see he's got some uh, lamps. Um, yeah, a mate of mine's got a table from him. Um, and it's, it's amazing. I met this chap. So there you go. If you really want to take those details, you can pause that. But I met Tony purely just by, I was selling some stuff. And, yeah, he came around, he bought the stuff off me, he saw I had a detector, and he goes, oh, I really want to get a detector and have a go at that. And and I sort of gave him some ideas of what to do, where to go, and stuff like that. And we've kept in contact since. And he's been on my, on my stream a couple of times, he's watched a few videos. And last week, he was a bit bored, he made this up for me. And, I mean... It's things like this that just blow me away. Absolutely blow me away. He's taken time out of his day to make this. It is so cool. So cool. There you go, guys. It's dinky, eh? That is so cool. Um, right, so... Wow, that is awesome. I need his details. Your silver Tony for Screenshot that, um, that card, mate. Just pause later on down the track. Um, oh, in fact... So, Tanifa, I will take a photo of that um, business card and I'll send it to you, bud, so that you can um, be good. He makes some amazing stuff. He does huge full-size entrance coffee tables and things like that, all out of brake calipers and cogs and oh, chain and all kinds of stuff. Um, absolutely amazing. Red Phil Llama, do you collect empty bottles? I do, mate. All of these up and behind me. Um, I specialise a little bit. I collect... Christchurch chemist bottles and I also collect a few like I've got beer bottles up the top there they're all blacks and gins and stuff from the gold gold fields era and I also collect the odd soft drink bottle marbles and Lamonts. but yeah so I actually um I dig most of them uh and some of them have been bought some of the more rarer um slightly more valuable ones that you're not really going to dig <laughs> So guys, I'm just going to catch up. Yeah, William Bay, sweet miniature detector. It's a shame it doesn't work. <laughs> Looks way cooler than mine, though. Um, how cool is it? It is. It's very cool. And Callum Thomas is still guessing. <laughs> Keep going, Callum. You'll get there one day, bro. Um, cool, an ashtray. Well, it's not an ashtray for me, bro. You could just about use it as an ashtray. Yeah, it's got a wee um, thing there to, that you could, could use it. Um, a trophy. <laughs> he'd, he'd probably make up some pretty cool trophies. Um, 
Mad Kiwi, just make two, number two, one. <laughs> Oh, I just about could. I actually poured three. So I poured three bars, mate. So it is there. Yeah. We'll see. I'll have a think about it. Probably in a um, in a few months' time, once I've got copper bars and rounds and things coming out of my ears, number one might not be quite so sentimental to me by then. <laughs> um, ah, sweet as, so Tony Fart. Sweet as. Um... I will be able to stick around for another 30 minutes. NASCAR is coming on. <laughs> You're a NASCAR fan, William Baker. Mean, we don't see a lot of NASCAR here. We um, Sunday afternoon, they have a car program on, on one of the channels, and that covers oh, most of the international um, car racing. But it seems to be all this new E-Formula racing. Um, what's on, I think, what's on this afternoon? E-Formula or Formula E, British Touring Cars. Um, oh, William, I was a licensed NASCAR driver in 1970. Bro, I wasn't even born in 1970. That's cool, what kind of car did you drive? Oh, what kind of car did you drive, William Baker? That would be, you'd probably be, be driving one of my, yeah, I mean, I love the cars from that era. Uh, 68, 69, yeah, 67, 68, 69, 70s, that era. I love those. <laughs> Might have been a Chev. Mopar was pretty pretty big back in the day and of, of, of that era. Um, so what would have been NASCAR back there? The, um, yeah, Chargers, um, things like that. So MD Melbourne, yes, man, I am. I might have to take a few weeks off before going to a different job site. Yeah, that's right. You're um you were saying on your video, weren't you, Jim? That you have to um because of the whole lockdown thing. Pontiac! Yeah, I wish. To be honest, I was in the pit crew sportsman division. 1963 Fury. Oh nice. But all members of the crew needed to be licensed. Ah, oh, okay, well, that's pretty cool. That would have been fun. That would have been real exciting there, William. That would have been mean. Um yeah, back to Jim. I remember you saying, Jim, that you had um you had a delay between jobs. Um, are you still in complete lockdown? Like, will you be able to get out and maybe do some detecting or anything like that, Jim? Or are you com will you be completely housebound and stuck at home? Um, I got the feeling your lockdown is pretty much the same as our level four lockdown. So, yeah, it's a bit stink, bro. Um, yeah, it does suck, Marty. Although I did drive that race car at Riverside International from the pit to tech inspection. Hey, that would have been pretty cool. Oh, that would have been a that would have been a um an absolute blast. Yeah, nine, nine, 63 Plymouth Fury, Silver Tony for Mopa. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the Mopa. Alrighty guys. Um I've got some stickers here. Um I will just hold off and just wait and see if they pop up on the screen. Sorry, pop up in the chat. Got to find out what's going on in two weeks. Then, when the six-week lockdown ends, crispy. It's still a wee way away, isn't it, bro? That's that stinks. That's sucky. Um, yeah, well, our thoughts are with you, bro. Um, it's weird, crazy times. I don't know if you've caught up on what's happening here in in New Zealand, but we've got um, we've got cases popping up left, right, and centre again in our second wave. Mainly all in Auckland at the moment. In fact, they're all in Auckland at the moment and a few in isolation. Um, they all seem to be linked to the same cluster, but I did hear that there were some new ones this week that were part of a different um, a different one. But, ah, oh, Silver Tony for gutting. Um, yeah, so... We're in, Auckland is in level th th three, going into level, I think they're in level two now. We're all in level two. I can't, I can't keep up with it. But um, yeah, thoughts are with you, Jim. Keep your head up, mate. Keep safe. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> I wish they had, Jim. Man, I wish they had. Um, Silver Tanifa. Oh, that stink. Um... 
Yeah, as soon as I got home from the house, I got locked down here. You should have stayed back here, bro. <laughs> um, yes, think about that ring, bro. I really it did look did look the real deal. Um, Silver Tony Fur was out detecting this morning. Um, yeah, actually, do you want me to talk about it, Silver Tony Fur, or are you gonna you're gonna do a video on it or keep it secret? Um, did any of you Kiwis feel that earthquake yesterday? Um, Oh, William, where was the earthquake, bro? Um, go for it, he says. So Silver Tony Fur was out this morning, <clears throat> uh, going out detecting with his brand new Simplex, and he found a ring. He got his first ring today. Woohoo! And from what the picture looked like, <coughs> um, it looked gold. It really looked gold. Um, so no doubt, it wasn't stamped, but not all gold rings are stamped. Um, I've found gold rings before that have tested up 18 karat that haven't been stamped. They tend to be a little bit older. Um, but yeah, the ring looked the real deal. Um, he has just mentioned in the chat, it's magnetic. <laughs> Cutting. So it's probably just silver plated with maybe uh, a brass, um, a brass ring itself, um, base metal. Stink! That sucks. Nice for nice first ring though. It's a it's a good one. Um, William Baker says one hundred and fifteen k's northwest of New Zealand. It's got to be. I don't know about the rest of New Zealand, but here in Christchurch, it's got to be a pretty decent earthquake for us to feel it or actually register it now. Um, we are so used to the aftershocks and the earthquakes now that unless it's over over a four or a four and a half and local we basically don't even register it we i mean i think our brains have just switched off to the fact of, of them and all the rest of it um <clears throat> oh there you go february and june things i think some people in auckland area felt it yeah that would probably be right because that would be the furthest northwestern tip of new zealand and then you're another 115 k's out from there so um but yeah, it's going to be pretty big for us Cantabrians to feel it now. We're sort of, we're so immune to them now that unless it's over four, um, February and June, Kiwi Metal Detector, um, you'd, you'd be on the same page as me. Unless it's a big one, we sort of ignore it and don't even register it. <laughs> so, um, oh, okay. Oh, cheers for that, William. Cool. <laughs> Caleb Sinclair, Uncle the Alpine Fault might go off soon. Yeah, well, if that goes off, we're all going to know about that one, aren't we? <laughs> that one's definitely going to uh, wake us all up. Yeah. Um, I get a buzz from them, to be honest. I know. I get a... Um, I, I hear you, buddy. Um, Kiwi Metal Detective just said, I get a buzz from them. And I actually do as well. I get a little adrenaline rush. It's um, And I guess it's probably because... Um, <clears throat> When the when the big one hit that killed everybody, I was in town in the in the middle of the city. We were going to a job to brace up some damage from the um, from the September earthquake, and so we had a trailer load of bits and pieces, and we got caught in in town in the earthquake in the big one that killed everybody, and we basically had a building pretty much nearly collapse on us. My foreman was in the in the front seat of the van with me. And we were started, we were shaking and we were going across the road and it was really weird. I knew we were having an earthquake. And one minute I was in, on my lane and the next minute I was heading on towards another car. So I jammed on the brakes and next thing we were up on the gutter and then we were back in the middle of the road and and my, my foreman, Darren, he was like, drive, drive, drive. And because stuff was coming in this front window. So I put my foot down and just as we put my foot down, we launched forward and we started going again. Meanwhile, we're, we're shaking all over the show. Then we came to a screaming halt again. We just like, boom, it was like I put the brakes on again, but I wasn't, I was trying to drive forward and didn't realize until we got out of the, until the earthquake settled down, we got out of the van and the building we were beside, the whole brick facade had collapsed down across the road and completely filled my trailer, covered the trailer in, in bricks and basically a split second before that, we were parked at that spot. And if, if Darren hadn't have said, drive, 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 that facade would have come down on the van. Uh, instead, it landed on our trailer. 
um, mounted the trailer a bit, smashed all the timber that was on it, and yeah, we had to empty the trailer, um, basically empty that, and then what would take a 20 minute drive home, then took four hours to get home. So I get a bit of a rush now when, when the um, earthquakes happen. Um, I also got caught up in a roof, a roof space with a really violent aftershake. Um, yeah, um, that was pretty scary. I thought I was gonna come through the roof. So yeah, <laughs> they're exciting. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's say that much. Um, Silver Tony for our Southerners don't notice the shakes unless the roof is coming down. <laughs> or a street. Yeah, pretty much, mate. Pretty much. Um, it's like COVID, you get used to it. Pretty much, Jim. It is a little bit like that, eh? Um, yes, use bore, borax to season the mould. Um, not so much the mould, David. The crucibles you want to use, you want to glaze your crucibles if they're not glazed already. Um, I paid a little bit extra with my um, crucible. It's already glazed. So all I needed to do was heat up the crucible, um, get all the moisture out of it, then use it and charge it up once it was all at temperature or getting close to temperature. So now I can just grab that crucible and I can pretty much just, um, as long as I keep it in a, in a sunny spot or a spot that's not going to get too damp, I can just grab that crucible now, throw my material in it and throw it straight in the mould and heat it up because it's been, it's what they call, um, it's all charged up, ready to go now. Um, the mould itself, David, I've had a couple of guys say, all I need to do is just um, chamfer the edge a little bit. He said what could have happened is when they did the mould, the edges could go in slightly, creating a bit of a wider at the bottom, thinner at the top scenario. And so what's happening is the, the it won't come out because of the bottom. So all I've got to do is just sand the edges a little bit so that I can either taper them out or get them, nice and plumb and then my um my bars should should <laughs> pop out after that um kind of wow what a story yeah that's freaking nuts. it was mate it was crazy um we actually drove past on our way home we drove past another guy just further up from us um who he was actually on a job laying bricks and the entire brick facade and wall fell on him uh, he was in his truck having his lunch, and it fell on him and killed him. We drove past him, um, and honestly, we didn't even think, we didn't realise there was even a truck under all the rubble. It was a horrible, sad time. It was crazy. Um, yeah, those angels certainly were watching us, uh, Silver Tony for. Yeah. Um, Mad Kiwi, I've been caught twice sitting on the block the back when and tugger. Oh, mate, that'd hurry things up, wouldn't it, Mad Kiwi? <laughs> oh, classic. Just uh, had a squiz at the Forge Vid cast mold. Did you season it like a frying pan, Chris? What do you mean by season it there, Mad Kiwi? Um, I heated it up, I cooked it on the forge for quite a while. Um, Got it nice and hot so that when I poured it was all sweet. But um, yeah, borax. Oh, okay. Maybe there is something in it. Maybe I do need to do something to that mold to um, season it. But yeah, <laughs> I love it, Silver Tony. But it does mean it gives new meaning to it. Definitely. <laughs> classic, classic. Okay, guys, <clears throat> let's do another one of these um, giveaways. I will type in the chat, go. What do we got there? 23 in the uh, in the chat. Don't forget to smash that like button, guys. It certainly all helps my whatever it is. Um, right, I'm going to type in go. Make sure you guys are in live chat. Stops it sticking. How do you... um? We'll get, we'll get into this after this competition there, bro. But um, Mad Kiwi, just for after this giveaway... What do I season it with? Um, can you just let me know after we've had a few guesses and all the rest of it? I'll, I'll ask again once we've done this. Right, guys, so it is birthstone with the appropriate birth month. Uh, I will type in the chat go when you see that. One guess only at the beginning here. I think everybody's pretty much got the hang of this now. Caleb, yep, it is birthstone with the appropriate month that that birthstone accounts for. All right, we got it. 
go. <laughs> okay, July Ruby May Emerald. April is in one, which is diamond. Yep, and we have a winner. Just like that, we are getting the hang of it. Stop, 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 guys. I just had to actually read it all, but he has done it right. So, oh, <laughs> turn the camera around, silly. <laughs> Here we go, guys. It was diamond, and the month was April. And if I go back in the chat here, I am pretty sure William Baker, April. Ah, and it's it. Oh, that, I, was, I was trying to read it, trying to figure it out. And he says, April is mine, which is Diamond and William Baker. That was the exact one. Diamond with April. So congratulations, buddy. You are the first one on my list. Congratulations. Yeah, Marty got it as well. Straight after you, William. Woo! That was close. Alrighty. So, congratulations, William. Um, I don't need to tell you about my uh, email. <laughs> but type in the chat, buddy. Do you want to spin or do you want to keep? You have these cool little coins right now. Do you want to keep them or do you want to spin? Just type in the chat, buddy. I'll write your name down here. William Baker. Are you going to spin or... Oh, I think I'll keep them. Good job. Oh, why won't that spin around? Come back. Hey, we're back. Oh, well, congratulations there, William. You have those little coins. Um, I just got pipped at the post. <laughs> yep. Um, William Baker. <laughs> Nice one, Silver Tony, for I'm sure he knows. <laughs> I'm sure he knows. Oh, that's classic. Well done, guys. Um, yeah. Well done. Congratulations. I will get those flicked away to you. Um, right. Yeah. You all want to see them, don't you? You all want to see them. Listen. Ooh. They sound nice, and they look nice too. Right, here we go, we'll start with number one. Number one, look at that. So, pretty cool, eh? CKA, I've stamped them, um, I will get a stamp yeah, I saw it there, William. Thanks for that, mate. Um, I will get a stamp made up of my logo or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what. But this one is 3.9 ounces. Ne nearly 4 ounces. Just a nice little bread loaf. Nice and chunky. Um, they are pretty cool. I am pretty stoked with them. So what I might do is I might just... I'm going to grab the camera. Now flip you around, grab the camera, and we'll go in for some close ups. So, there we go, guys. So, number one was 3.9 ounces, number two was 3.8, <laughs> number three was 3.7. They just slowly got smaller and smaller as I was going. Um, they've come out absolutely beautifully. I couldn't believe how well they poured. Um, I was amazed, absolutely amazed. I was expecting splatter and all kinds of things, but it just poured like water. It honestly did. Um, I got it really, really hot. I left it going for a little bit so that, um, I could heat up the mold and it just went a beautiful red color. That just looked absolutely stunning. Um, and it's amazing, they come out really black. Um, yeah, they do look like Tim Tams, don't they? There you go, put them together and woohoo! <laughs> but they come out really black in the mold, and honestly, you'll see on the video, just a wee wire brush, and that's all I've done to these, is just a wire brush. And that just takes all the black soot and stuff off it, 
Um, and yeah, they look great. I'm absolutely just stunned with them. Um, it was so much easier than what I thought. Um, I was really, really blown away. Um, <laughs> copper tin dance, yeah. Um, but real happy. So I am completely and utterly hooked now. Um, yum, but hard to bite, but look tasty. They do look tasty, don't they? They look absolutely awesome. Um, but I am hooked. I am absolutely hooked now. They are just, it's actually so easy to do. The Devil Forge is so quick. Um, I had that copper. I didn't use much copper, but I had I had that melted within two or three, maybe four minutes. And um, it was ready to pour before I actually knew it. So I was like, oh, crap. So I thought I'd better, better heat up the mould so the, the um, copper stayed in the crucible heating up for a little bit longer. Um, and I think that was the key, just making sure it was just absolute liquid and, and beautiful and it just poured so nice. So, yeah, really, really happy. Um, I will say this much, guys. Um, get a UK metal detecting. Stefan Pedekin is in the house. You're just in time to see my first pours, mate. Uh, these are the first, um, first copper bars I've ever poured. I just bought a Devil Forge that turned up this week. And I had a bit of fun. Number three, guys. And number two, I will happily sell. Okay? Number one, however, David, I will probably hold on to at this stage. Um, just for a while. Um, just because I am sort of attached to it. I do like it. And being my first ever pour, that worked. <laughs> Straight away. Um... I might just hold on to it just for a little bit. We'll just, yeah, it may go up for sale later on or I might even give it away. But at this stage, I will probably keep one. But number two and number three, 3.7, 3.8 ounce. If you are keen on them, send me a message, email me, hit me up, whatever. Um, I will happily, happily let these go. So... Yeah, so there you go, my first attempt <laughs> at pouring copper, and it worked, <laughs> I, was, I was very surprised, very, very surprised, Mad Kiwi, is gold next, no, gold is not next, I am saving up, I would like to, I've got about 20 grams of gold, flake, I've got lots of nuggets. I've got over. I've got over an ounce now of gold, alluvial, but a lot of it is, is um, nuggets. So I don't want to melt up the nuggets, but I am keen to melt up some flakes.